Adam, uh, you were a senior year. You were a senior this year, and what are your emotions going into this last home game for you here at Ferris State? Uh, you know, it's, there's been a lot of home games here this year that it's like, oh, this could be my last. This could be my last. This could be my last. Uh, and this one's going to be my last for sure. So that's definitely setting in with me. I've dressed a, dressed a lot of games at this field. Uh, it's getting a little emotional, but it's fun. I wouldn't want to end it any other way. Uh, chance to move on for one more week after that. That's where my focus is right now. What's the experience like playing at Top Tiger Field? Uh, you know, until these last couple of years, we never had a bunch of fans. We're starting to get a lot of a lot of students to come out. We're starting to get a little bit rowdier crowds. It's fun. Um, you know, we, we enjoy our field. We enjoy our, our bringing our bell afterwards. It's what we have. Uh, we treat it right, and uh, it's sentimental to me now. I've been here so long, so I love every every inch of it. And how? Just talk about how has the ride been? And obviously, you've seen the last two weeks where uh, a couple of those games were very, very tight, and you're here, uh, one game away from uh, the final game. Uh, yeah, it's a it's been a grind this year. We've had a lot of tight games. Whereas last year, we were, I mean, beating teams by 30, 40 points. It seemed like every game. So that's a little different feeling, but it makes it a little more sweet too. You know, walking off the field as winners every time, with only you know three point wins. It's been fun. Uh, I enjoyed it. I don't know. Excited to do it again. What's made this team able to win the close games? Uh, I, just, I mean, when it gets down to it, those final drives, you have to make a play. Our guys just seems to do it. Uh, there's no give up in our guys. There's no quit. Um, they just you got to get that extra yard. They seem We seem to do it every time, at least since I've been here. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely our standard, and it's what we've been doing for years. As Can you just talk about how does it feel to get that offensive going? It was, um, correct me wrong, that second, third, and fourth quarters where it was a little mm -hmm. stagnant against Pittsburgh State, then the first three quarters against GV, then you finally got it going in that, uh, that yeah. final quarter. Yeah, the last two games we definitely had some uh, stall outs. You know, like you said, Pitt State, it was in the second half. We just couldn't get going for a little bit. Then GV was the first half we struggled getting, a, getting yards down. A lot of that is just, you know, there's 10 guys executing well, and one guy kind of not necessarily messes up, but doesn't execute perfectly. Um, but we always seem to get it going eventually. We change the scheme up. You know, Nice will change some stuff up with us in the locker room at halftime against GV. It helped us a ton. Uh, we just got to start clicking at some point. We seem to always find it eventually. So, yeah. As you, as you mentioned last season, you guys blew out a lot of teams, 30, 40 points this season. Did you have the confidence that you guys would be back here in the uh, Final Four? Yeah, you know, yes, I definitely f knew that we had the talent. I knew we still it was very possible. Um, it's always a goal. It's always a dream to make it to the national championship. But like I say, it's every year I've been here. Not till the semifinal week does it seem like it's possible. Like it's right there. You know, one more win and I'm going to Texas. Um, so this is a special week for me every year that we've been here. Uh, I love it, and it's, it's a different feeling for sure. How much would a championship uh, cap off your career? What would that mean to you? I mean. It'd be the best way to end, obviously. Uh, got one ring. I'd love to add another one to my collection, uh, especially the senior season. I lost a lot of my guys last year. They got to end on their nasty national championship. I'd like to show them up a little bit, to be honest. Obviously, the West, West Florida has a great off, um, offense, and you guys have a great defense. But from, from your standpoint, I mean, obviously, when you guys are on the field, it's going to be huge. How do you guys view this as an offense going up against them? Oh, they're, they run a little bit of a defense than we see up here. Uh, you know, three down versus four downs that we typically see. Nothing crazy new to us. We've, uh, you know, I, I played against them in 19. They ran the same defense then. Um, just small adjustments for us. We, you know, it's really nothing major. Um, I know their offense is very strong. They got the uh, quarterbacks clean the ball. But if we can uh, get our run game solidified early on, I think we'll be well off. So. And, sorry, go ahead. Go. You've seen him from the sidelines. You practice against him. How have you seen Caleb Murphy grow this year? And what has he brought to this team when he came over? Uh, I mean, I saw the most growth in him just like in the summertime this year, like just coming into his own. You know, he was a great player last year. Saw him grow this summer. I'm pretty close friends with him, so over at his house all the time, just see him working. And then uh, all this year, it just seems like every week he just did something new, something better. You know, you know, he got five stacks this week, six the next, whatever it was. He's uh, you know, definitely a leader on the team. I always hear him. He's always talking to his guys, getting them pumped up, and uh, good guy to be around. It's fun. 
You said in 2019 you played against that West Florida team. Obviously, this is uh, years and years, uh, a couple of years ago, but the team that you're going to face this week, how does that compare to that team, or do you see some similarities, or are you expecting almost, um, it's like, hey, the same, like the, mm -hmm. the same kind of style play that you uh, see? Their defensive scheme, I think, is pretty similar from what we saw back then. Uh, you know, different players now. It's been a couple of years. But there's a lot of similarities. Um, I wasn't a starter back then, so I didn't get quite as many reps. So I don't, you know, remember quite as much as what they were doing. But they seem similar, yeah. Does last year's run help you at all in this year's run, just from an experience standpoint? Yeah, I think understanding how the playoffs are different. Like, uh, you know, we haven't traveled much in the playoffs, fortunately. You know, we're being the number one seed. But just understanding that it's win or go home all the time, understanding that this is a playoff game, like our guys just seem to act different when we get out of that field. I think that comes with experience from the playoffs and understanding what it takes to win. And we don't know what it takes to get on the next week, what you got to do during the week to prepare. Um, yeah, I think it gives us gives us a little something for sure. Yeah. And Malik has paid, played through quite a bit of pain uh, this year. What does that do for you guys as an offensive line to see your quarterback getting it out like that? Uh, you know, we've been a younger line this year, which uh, started slow, but we're really starting to come into our own. And then seeing the league get hit more than I'm used to, you know, uh, it's, it was a struggle for me and our guys at the beginning of the year. I hate to see it. Uh, we just got to we keep working every week to make sure we keep guys off of him. You know, he's our number one goal is to keep him safe, keep him protected. Um, we do as best we can, and we're going to keep doing it. Yeah.